Alright guys, so I'm 88 minutes in uh, to the Clockwork Orange. Uh, we're just at the point where Alex comes home and there's some guy living in his apartment and his dad's like making a whole bunch of excuses for there being a guy in his room and why they can't kick him out or something. At this point, I just wish I could not finish the movie. I'm going to finish the movie and I'm going to finish this review, but at this point, I, I'm not liking it at all. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna finish the movie, but especially at 40 minutes in, uh, right when he's chasing her, the the cat lady around with a giant penis and ass, I'm starting to regret watching this movie sober. Let's put it that way. Okay, so verdict on this movie is I really don't like it. I can appreciate Butter, don't knock... Butter's my cat. Okay. I can appreciate the fact that others might. And for a lot of it, I was like, oh, so this is how V and V for Vendetta got so fucked up. Um, it was really strange for me to be on the side of the priest. Um, I'm never on the side of the priest. Uh, I generally don't like religion. You can like religion, I just don't. But, yeah, the priest was right in this one. Um, I don't understand how exactly he was cured, except they seem to imply some sort of brain surgery or something. Yeah. Um, uh, I loved... Okay, here's one thing. I generally, throughout the movie, really disliked the use of music um, because I'm a big advocate of using, like, happy, cheery music while something, like, really depressing or violent is going on. I quite like that effect, but they really overused it throughout, like, the entire movie. I just, it, it kind of pissed me off, but I really loved the use of Singing in the Rain. Singing in the Rain, I don't know if you can hear it or not. Um, because I like the song, and I loved how they used it as a callback, and it made the old guy remember, the writer. I still think it was trying too hard. Um, my friend who introduced this to me years ago, this is the first time I've watched it, but a friend tried to get me to watch it when I was in, like, grade 9. His name was Alex. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> He loves the movie. I can see why his he would he would love the movie. But I I think I have to watch it again with someone else to really appreciate it cuz I watched it alone in my room. So yeah, I think I need to watch it with someone else. I mean, you know, it'll probably be Alex. Um I didn't like it. I really didn't like it. I, you know what? I would give it... I'd give it a B minus. B minus B. Because it wasn't horrible. I didn't hate it. No, I hated it. I don't know. It was... I didn't like it. I don't think I hated it. I strongly disliked it. I didn't like a lot of what I feel it's stood for. <laughs> Cat. I thought the sets were brilliant. Whoever decorated the sets... I can't get my tripod to stand up again. 
Oh, you're all crooked now. Whatever. I thought whoever decorated the sets or did the set scouting, whatever, um, I thought that was brilliant. I loved it. I loved the writer's house. Um, I loved Alex's room. Um, I kind of want Alex's room. <laughs> um, I loved... Oh, you're falling over. I loved the living room. I loved that bubble wall. I kind of want that wall. Um, I thought a lot of the... Sim sim a lot of the cinematography was brilliant, in my opinion. I loved a lot of the sets. The opening scene. While I did not like it, I thought it was really nicely done. I loved the play of light on dark. I loved how the bad guys were wearing white. Um, I liked the callback and how, like, the first person he sees in the real world was the guy he beat up at the beginning of the movie. I thought the cops, the, the friends becoming cops and then them being the one that break it up and find him a little over the top. Again, I think it was trying too hard. It's like the entire movie was like babysitting your little cousin, for girls anyways. It was like babysitting your 11 year old cousin who just wants to be like you and put on some cool makeup and just be like totally cool. And then you figure what the hell and then they try on your makeup and they kind of look like a clown uh, with really red lips and blue eyeshadow and they're wearing makeup and they're wearing the makeup in all the right places but they're just not wearing it right you know but yeah okay bye